The 2022 Arima World Championship is currently underway. This game is from the first round of the tournament. It was played by Telmark with the gold pieces and Rabbits with the silver pieces on June 11. Both players set up with their Rabbits in the back row behind their stronger pieces. Gold chose a balanced setup with horses on both sides and the camel in the center, while Silver chose an unbalanced setup with horses on the west. Gold starts by bringing their elephant to the center and claiming key squares with the horses. Similarly, Silver advances their elephant and horses. Gold brings the elephant closer to its ideal target, the silver camel, and the gold camel closer to its ideal target, the two silver horses. Silver develops. Gold shifts its pieces and threatens a capture. If silver lollygags, then um, say if silver pulls the gold horse, then gold can capture the silver cat uh, in the F6 trap. So Silver protects its cat by shifting the dog in the way of the elephant and brings the silver elephant next to a gold horse, not threatening to capture it, but threatening it in another way that gold needs to respect. If gold doesn't do anything, plays a garden variety move, then silver will flip the gold horse and this is a classic position called a horse basket even if gold unfreezes the gold horse the horse can't move because there's a stronger or equally strong piece on every side of it so gold responds to that threat but moving the horse away from b3 creates an opportunity for silver, and silver capitalizes, pushing the gold horse even further away. Now one of these silver horses could jump in and start um, attacking c3 along with the elephant. Instead of worrying about that, gold starts their own attack, which invites a capture race. For example, If Silver continues with the plan of bringing a horse down to c3, then Gold might capture this cat, and Silver could also capture a cat. And this is a sharp position, but it's reasonable for both sides. Instead of going into that line, Silver chases the gold camel with the elephant. Um, on the next turn, Silver is threatening to capture the gold camel, but the elephant didn't get close enough to freeze the camel, so the camel can just run away. Now the camel's on the h-file, very far away from its ideal targets, all the way on the a and b file, so the silver horse can continue its plan of attacking around c3. Gold shifts the pieces to the west. Silver plays a quiet developing move. Gold continues to bring the camel closer to the horse. Silver does its best to stop the horse camel from getting close to the b3 horse 
And here, instead of continuing to try to get that camel close to the horse, Gold goes for another idea, which is to attack the opposing camel. And Silver ends up playing a somewhat adventurous move, pushing the Gold Camel up to e6, where it could potentially be captured in either c6 or f6 on the next turn. Um, notice that Silver took a long time to make this move because it's committal, and Gold has a number of different ways, um, different options here. For example, um, the game might lead to a camel uh, trade, where silver takes a camel and then gold takes a camel. Um, that's probably good for gold here. So instead, silver calculated that they could prevent the silver camel from being captured by sending the silver cat all the way down to f4. Here, this line might continue by pushing away the cat. Perhaps now, silver takes the camel trade. Gold could threaten this horse. Sorry, silver could threaten the gold horse. And gold could save it just in time. Uh, this is just one possible outcome where silver is kind of attacking both of gold's traps and has a weird horse hostage in the middle. Um, it's an unclear position. Instead, in the game, gold captured the hanging silver cat. And now Silver cannot capture the Gold Camel immediately, because Gold would take Silver's Camel and would be up material. But Silver can consolidate and protect its Camel, and the Gold Camel's still in danger. Gold says, okay, but I'm going to take a dog while I'm at it. Silver declines. Gold insists. And now Silver can't undo that move again because of the repetition rule, so Silver sends the dog to the east. And here the gold elephant dives in after the Silver Camel again. Silver has a number of options, but chooses the to capture. And gold plays the one move that keeps gold in the game. Silver cannot save the camel on this turn, but Silver can threaten to capture a horse. And so Gold, of course, takes, captures the camel and then tries to save the horse, but now the horse is in the same position that the camel just was, being threatened between two traps. So it'll be captured, and Silver was feeling good here, thinking that... Um, the material advantage was secured, but on this past move, a very subtle mistake was made. Can you tell what it was? What should gold do in this position? Gold can pull the silver dog and Silver doesn't have time to capture the gold horse and save the dog. So in retrospect, on 16S, at least one step should have been used to retreat the Silver dog. The game continued with the horse capture and a dog capture, and after the dust settles, the, the material is unclear. So gold and, cam and silver have both lost their camel, and gold has lost a horse while silver has lost two minor pieces, a dog and a cat. 
And depending on how you evaluate the position, either side could be considered to be ahead materially here. It's not clear. What's the story, though? That's, that's material. What's happening positionally? The silver horse on B3 is fracturing gold's position, you could say. It's the, the situation around the C3 trap is not broken, but you need to attend to it. On the other hand, the east side for silver is very weak with only rabbits in that quadrant. Silver continues by pulling a dog. Gold protects the dog and threatens to capture the horse. Silver repositions the horse. Gold again threatens to capture the horse. Silver protects the horse and pulls a dog. Gold retreats the dog and advances a dog on the east side. Silver pulls the dog again and tries to reinforce the east side. Gold retreats and starts sending a rabbit forward for a goal attack. Silver continues threatening the dog and continues moving the silver dog to the east. The, in retrospect, the two rabbit steps might have been better spent bringing the silver dog all the way over to g6. Gold creeps forward on the east side. Silver continues to pull the gold dog. and gold lunges forward with a goal attack. Silver ignores the east side and completely threatens the gold dog, so on the next turn it'd be possible to capture the gold dog. And in fact, it's impossible for gold to stop all capture threats. If the elephant steps up to c5, then the cat or some other piece will be captured at c3. But gold finds a nice resource here. Instead of trying to protect everything, gold makes a threat on the east side, bringing the elephant into the goal attack. And here, the um, if the gold dog is captured, then gold could capture the silver dog. And now the east side again looks very weak. Alternatively, gold could go for a goal attack right away, trying to sneak the rabbit through. And if silver is not careful, gold just might get that rabbit all the way to the end of the board, game over. So silver chose to bring the elephant back to help defend. Gold continues to create a goal attack. Again, if silver captures the, um, silver cannot capture the gold dog. Silver does. They give up a goal in one threat. So gold would win. Instead, Silver spends all four steps defending. And Gold brings the elephant back to the west side. Once again, Gold, Silver, cannot capture the, the dog that it's been hostaged for so long. Um, 
if the dog is captured, then the gold elephant will capture the C2 horse. So the silver elephant comes back to C3. The gold elephant goes back to the east, hoping that there's some sort of gold attack still going on. However, silver can just capture that rabbit. No more goal attack. Now gold is a bit desperate, but wants to save their dog. Unfreezes it with a rabbit. And this allows silver to capture a cat and create a goal threat of their own. Gold defends for one more move. And silver creates space for that rabbit to get through. And on this move, gold resigned. It's possible to defend for a few more moves. For example, the game could have continued um, something like this. But the silver rabbit is going to get through. That was my round one game. Thank you for watching.